This is 11 -1. This is Talk of the Town, a weekly program featuring community events happening in and around Northeast Michigan with your host, Nancy Smitham, and the latest news from Alpena Community College with Dr. Olin Joynton. And now, today's Talk of the Town. Good morning and welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm Nancy Smitham. My first two guests today are both from Thunder Bay Theater. I have Lisa Lull and Michael Idowski. Hi and welcome. Hi, thank you Hello. for having us. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. Michael, you're actually from Rogers City. Yep. And you and Lisa and a couple of other cast members all came from Central Michigan University and you're here in Alpena for some of you for the summer and some for just a couple of shows, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how did you all get to Alpena from Central Michigan University? Well, I auditioned in, back in January at the Ohio Theater Alliance auditions, um, which is just a big group of regional theaters come together, um, and they're all auditioning. It's a very quick, you get your one minute in the spotlight to show what you can do. And then Thunder Bay Theater gave us callbacks, and uh, they brought us here. Yay! So, my first time in Alpena. <laughs> um, and for me, I had worked with Heather Norton Brack before in uh -huh. Roger City in a few shows. And when she came on as artistic director at Thunder Bay, she gave me a call and said, hey, I'm doing Lucky Stiff again. Would you be interested in doing it? And I was like, well, of course I'd be interested in doing <laughs> it. Um, and so she was like, OK, well, um, we've also got two more if you're interested in those. And so I picked up a contract for all three shows for the summer. Yay. Getting paid for doing what you love to do. Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> now, you just finished a fundraiser. It was over this past weekend. And for people who didn't get a chance to come to the production, tell us what you did. The fundraiser is called Secondary Characters, and it was, um, we all sang different songs from Broadway shows that weren't sung by the lead characters. So ah. we got to do a lot of the really fun numbers. There's a chance to do a lot of those songs where you're like, oh, I really want to sing that someday. And we got to do those. So uh, we both actually sang songs from different genders. Okay. Um, mine is called The Diva's Lament, and I made it a little bit of an Alpina version. Um, because it's from Spamalot by Monty Python, okay. and I figured instead of singing about uh, a bunch of British knights, I would sing about thespians. Ah, okay. Um, so it was a lot of fun. Okay, if people didn't get a chance to donate, they can call the theater 35422 and still send in a donation. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'm sure they would love that. <laughs> <laughs> we would love that. But today we want to talk about Smokey Joe's Cafe. That's the next production, and when will we be able to see that at Thunder Bay Theater? Either one of you? Uh, Wednesday through Sunday, July 17th through July 28th. Okay. Uh, Wednesday through Saturday, shows are at 7.30, and on Sundays we have a matinee at 2 o'clock. Okay. Tell me about your role, Lisa, and Smokey Joe's Cafe. I'm Brenda. I'm pretty sassy and uh, kind of sexy, which is different for me. <laughs> I'm usually just the goofball, but um, so it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a musical review, so the characters aren't very specific in the show, but we definitely still have our own through lines and our own idea of how our character would act and think about the songs that we're singing. So it's, it's a lot of really fun music, though, and just a really good time. A lot of singing and a lot of dancing. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what songs will you be singing yourself? I am singing Don Juan and Some Cats Know, and then I'm doing a couple duets, Trouble uh, and You're the Boss. Ooh, so okay. all very fun and sassy. Okay, what about your character, Michael? Um, my character is Adrian. Um, I guess my storyline is that he's kind of the, the slower, more romantic one. Um, and the songs that I get to sing are There Goes My Baby, Love Potion Number 9, uh, Young Blood, uh, I Have a Spot in Stand By Me. There's, also, there's a lot of big group numbers. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, the guys have a lot of quartet things. Uh, we're singing on Broadway, which is one of my oh, personal love, favorites. Yeah, yeah. So <coughs> we got we got all of that going on. So it's a it's a family musical, and Alpina loves musicals. So call three five four two two six seven, get the box office, and get your tickets so that you don't miss out on Smokey Joe's Cafe. Um, all right, tell me who some of the other characters are and who's playing them. Um, we've got Dylan Goyke is playing. Uh, I almost said Adrian. That's my part. Playing okay. Victor. Um, he's another one of the younger ones. Um, his character is very intertwined with Nikki Hilton's character of BJ. Um, they've got a lot of riffing and soloing and duetting together. It's uh, a lot of fun to see those two interact. Um, mm -hmm. With Mackenzie Fountain, who plays Ken, 
uh, Paul Doctor, who plays Fred, and um, Jacqueline Veer and uh, Amy Gruen, that's not how you say her name, Gruen, uh, <laughs> um, are both playing two other of the women parts of Dealey and your Brenda, so I'm Patty. Patty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's hard because there's not a big storyline between or for everybody, so it's hard for me to remember some of the names sometimes. Yeah, the names are based off of um, the people who played them in the original Broadway show. Okay. Yeah, so they so. didn't have different character names, so we have their actual names oh, okay. as our yeah. character names. So. <laughs> so this was a Broadway show. Yep. Okay. Yes. And who was it written by? I'm gonna um, give you well, the music was all from Lieber and Stoller. Okay. Yeah. So okay. it's all the uh, big hits from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Uh, it's, it's very fun. Okay, sounds like it. Rock and roll. And then yeah. you're going <laughs> to be here just for this production, Lisa. Then you'll be going back home to Novi. Uh, Troy. Troy. Nearby. Troy. Yeah. Right. Okay, Troy. That's right. Get it right. <laughs> so you'll be going back to Troy Somerset, and then getting ready to go back to school in the fall. Yes. And then, Michael, you're staying on. Yep. I'll and be on for a Rat Pack Lounge as well. And you're going to do Rat Pack Lounge. Are you excited about that production? Yes. Yes. And, uh, and it's not been cast yet, so you don't know which part you'll be playing. I, I don't know what part I'll be playing. All I know is I'll be helping with music direction again. Oh, yay. And that's your favorite <laughs> thing to do. Yeah. It's, it's, I really like doing that. Okay. And I'm assuming that's your favorite role is a musical role, too? Um, yeah. Performing. I just love to perform. So anything. Um, musicals are just so much fun. I think... A lot of hard work, though. A lot of hard work. Uh, we're, we're really working on our dancing <laughs> skills with this show. Uh, a lot of us um, don't have as large of a dance background as we do uh -huh. a vocal singing background and, and a theater background. So uh, it's lots of singing and dancing. Lots of singing and dancing. And we're getting pretty good. So Yay. you have to come see it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Smokey Joe's Cafe, once again, when can we come to see it? Uh, July 17th. 17th. I was going to say 7th. That already happened. July 17th through the 28th. Okay. Wednesday through Saturday at 7.30. Sunday at 2 o'clock. 354-2267 to get your reservations. And uh, wonderful meeting both of you. And I look forward to seeing you on stage. I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful experience. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I'll be right back with some information about the upcoming Brown Trout Festival. Follow